Well, hello everybody. Today we have a little bit of a unboxing video. <laughs> I finally ordered the Big Daddy pan as known by, um, this is not coming out. Oh, right here. Ooh um, so I started my journey with um, Pelican M400 in extra fine and Pelican M400 in fine. And um, I absolutely love the extra fine. I have a love-hate relationship with fine depending on what ink there is. But I've been watching um, a lot of YouTube videos and Instagram stories by Adventure Denali and iHeart Books and they've been using the N800 and they rave about this pen. So I, I decided that I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, just bite the bullet and get it. I am really afraid of big pens but um, I've had a, a great experience with the Platinum M, no, Platinum 3776. Um, and I absolutely love the size of this pen. I also love um, the Pilot Custom um, 74. I love this pen, but I hate the nib. It's too thick for me. Um, so I am, I'm trying to figure out what to do about it. But let's talk about it. Today is all about the Pelican M800. Oof. Oh. So this really comes, um, I think Adventure Denali has it in brown and I Heartbrooks has it in green. Um, but I decided to get a blue one. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Since I already had the one in um, tor tortoise brown and tortoise white tortoise, I decided to get it in blue. And I also have way too many blue inks that I need to start using. And I'm one of those people that the inks have to match the pen. So it comes in a, a nice box and I'm going to... So I got it in extra fine. Look at this gorgeous nib. I am so excited. So excited. So I was told to wash this pen um, and let it cool down before I ink it. But it's really heavy. I like it. Um, I got it from the cult pens it's an online shop um it's it's gorgeous look at this it's gorgeous pen i'm in love well i am going to do a couple more videos on inking it and figuring it out what to do with this beautiful baby um yeah, I already did that. Gorgeous. The twines are beautiful. That's so, such a gorgeous pen. It fits right. I don't think I'm going to be posting it because I think this is big enough for me. Um, ugh. And we'll do a little quick comparison between my platinum... 3776 nib um, and then also pilot nibs so you can get a little bit of an idea and then the other comparison that I want to do is between the M400 and M800 so I think I skipped one um, I don't think I'm ever going to get 1000 because it's just way too big for me but this is what the difference between m400 and 800 looks like 
And extra fine is definitely choice of my my choice um, of the nibs because I like how finely it writes. Um, I might get the other one, the one in white tortoise, um, grinded by the nib mas master, the master, because it's 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 genuinely too thick for me to write. Um, here you go. So you can get a little bit of a look. So I don't have 600. I just have two M400s and one. Um, I just got the blue one, which is the M800. So exciting, exciting. I am so excited. Um, there's so many videos in the YouTube community that does, you know, this the length and the weight and all of that. And honestly, all of the details will be written in the description box, but I am excited to ink this baby up and get started. Okay, so we're having a little bit of an indecision right now between Noodler's Blue, which is already making me blue. Not a big fan. Um, this is Midway Blue. This is Navy. I think I might like Navy. Um, and then, then I have the Irozushiki. I can't say the word. Iro Shizuku. Asagao. Kujaku. Kanpeki. Kanpeki. Kujaku. Asagao. I think I might go with Asagao. Because I know the ink does really well with um, just life in general, I think. Ooh. So we have... I have these many blues, by the way. So we have Midway Blue. I'm not going to put Robert Oster Denim because I already have this in one of the pens. Noodler Navy. Bay State, we're definitely not. Bay State is not for my Pelicans. Super Show DC is in my um, one of the other pens. Liberty Elysium is permanent ink, so I'm going to let that go. Ruler's Blue is an option. This is what I was talking about. Look at this gorgeous baby. Look at this. Hopefully it will... Yes. This is... It matches, sort of, right? Asagao? I think Asagao is the winner. Well, let's just go through the rest of the blues. Um, so this is a winner, I think. Kanpeki. Then oh, we don't we don't want Toronto Pen Company. Um, and Monteverde Horizon Blue, which is also sort of like a, in the running. <laughs> My husband's making a, a thumbs up because he loves Mono Verde inks, but I am actually geared toward Asagao a little bit because it has a little bit of a pink tint. So, all right, so it's definitely not any of these, so let's get rid of them. I have some Tomwo River paper in 52 GSM or 68, I forget. Um, so I can test these inks out, but basically it's between the Horizon Blue and Asagao. So I'm gonna put all of these in the back. Um, but decisions, decisions! <laughs> so, I don't know what to do. I think I am, I want you both. You have 
Do you have Asagawa in other pens? I don't have Asagawa in any pens. I haven't used this since the sample ran out. Mm. All right, so I think I'm gonna go with Asagawa. Asagawa it is. I'm so mad about this stupid noodler's bottle. It's still like... Everywhere? Everywhere. All right, dipping it in. I'm gonna just do it one more time so all the bubbles go away. I can hear the bubbles actually. That's the one thing I hate. Like, I need to learn how to clean the nibs properly. How do people do it so easily? <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh my God, I love extra fine in this big daddy. Oh my god, I'm in love. I might have to sell my 400s. This is gorgeous. All right, well, this is it. Beautiful pen! I love it! Inky fingers, but thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video. <laughs>